Hey everyone, another MJoy Reads video. I have been reading a ton and it feels so good. Now this next book is very special to me. It was gifted to me out of nowhere by my cousin, Jen Gerard. Shout out Jen Gerard. If you're in the Medford, Medford, Oregon area, let her know. She's a realtor. She will hook it up with amazing service. Um, but yes, so <laughs> she got me this. Call Me American by Abdi Ifton. Um, I had never heard of this person, but he's like famous uh, he's a refugee um, that came just a couple years ago and um, he came from Somalia and I had heard bits and pieces of like growing up of stuff that was happening in Somalia, but never like dove in, right? Never did my homework. Um, we had military presence there as the US, but I was not educated on uh, what was happening. Um, so he shares uh, this incredible story about um, coming here, being like really falling in love and having access to um, American culture, um, living like the Hollywood movies, right? And like hip hop music and really vibing with, with that, uh, with those like aesthetics and, um, and learned how to speak English from watching movies. Um, and even the act of watching movies with his friends was something that was really hard and really dangerous and he risked his life for it, but he was so like enamored with the idea of coming to the States that he worked for years on his end and garnered um, support from people that he would meet. Um, journalists uh, built connections just by like taking risks and talking to people and just putting himself out there even when he could have gotten shot like literally thousands of times. So uh, complicated, big, messy, geopolitical stuff, but really uh, important to read about and like hear someone's story. Um, and I think uh, learning about people's, uh, just hearing people's stories, in particular, particularly like refugees um, and learning about more in detail from someone who's actually been through it, um, about what that experience is like, um, was, uh, my jaw was on the floor so much while reading this book. So, um, thank you so much, Jen. I love you. This book was amazing. And of course the punchline being right, he came to the U S and found the different ways that, um, black people are targeted and struggle here. Um, and then also on top of that, having, in your identity, like refugee or, um, um, you know, immigrant, you know, and the different kind of cultural tensions that rub up against each other. And so now he's a speaker, he's an educator, um, interpreter and doing awesome stuff in Maine, I believe if he's still in Maine. Um, so yeah, it was, it was an incredible story and he's a citizen here. Um, but was a refugee in Kenya coming from Somalia and like just talks about his journey and it's a miracle um, that he was able to execute like on what he wanted on his dreams but he made clear that people are still living um, and surviving uh, rugged conditions about, uh, with militias and just like fighting, intertribal fighting, fighting so Anyway, it, it was so good, and it was one of those things where you get a lot of answers, but it leads to more questions. So, here we go. Keep on learning. I do recommend this book. It was awesome. Bye.